let's get started so for example if you are listening to some lo-fi beats which are not copyrighted by anyone and you want to open this in your browser we need to we can get the link and we can just swipe and it should open in the laptop similarly if you are reading some article so if you are reading some article and we find this very interesting and we want to open this in the browser what we can do is we can go to share copy the link and then share it from here also if we are using something in a note and we have copied some text if we copy this text and we want to use this in our laptop we can do the same thing we have copied the text and now we'll just swipe so now in our browser if we open a tab or if we just press control v we should see the same text also if you have seen my previous video we can combine the two the remote controlling of laptop and this project and we will get something like this where we can control the the sound we have muted the system and now we have unmuted the system similarly we can increase the volume decrease the volume and also lock the system remotely Let's get started with the front end and create a project in React. We can start the React server using the Visual Studios also. We'll just open the project and can run the npm script. Now we will develop a component that we will be using to share this URL with the server side. So now we will create a button. If we click that button it should send the copied text or URL to the server side. After this we will be using javascript to get the text copied in the clipboard and we will be using this code for that. If we have the permission we will get the copied text from the clipboard. But there is a limitation to this as this works only on localhost or over https. So we will get permission denied if we are using over http and if we use the ip. To fix this, we'll have to run our React server over HTTPS. For that, we will need self-signed certificates. Those certificates I have added in my Google Drive and I'll share the link in the description. So now we have to change the command to start the server. We have to provide HTTPS as true and the name of the certificates and the key. So we have changed the script. Now it should host to HTTPS. Also, since we are using the self-signed certificates, we'll have to tell the browser it's okay to visit this site. We should not be sending the URLs as it is or whatever text we have copied. So what we'll do is we'll encrypt the text and then we'll send it to the server. It's not a very high-end encryption. We are just taking the ASCII value of the character and then adding it to an array and then returning that array as a string. OK, 
again we'll be using axios to make the call to the server side Now let's move on to the server side coding. If you have seen my previous video, we'll just follow the same pattern and start a new project. Before starting, we'll have to change a code a bit to enable the headless execution which will allow us to open the URLs directly in the browser. We'll create a REST controller and we'll define the mapping now. Now we have to decrypt the string that we are getting from the client side and we'll use the same algorithm that was used to encrypt the data. We'll just take the character of the ASCII value here. We can use the desktop object to directly open the URL. Now the issue is our client side is working on HTTPS and our backend is working on HTTP. So we'll have to solve this and for that also we need self sign certificates and we'll start the spring server with HTTPS. For that we need to make some changes to the application properties and we need the two certificates. I've added these two certificates as well. So now if we restart our server, it should host to HTTPS. So now we will just test it. I have copied the YouTube URL and if I click on send to browser, it should open a YouTube tab. So it seems to be working here. So now we'll work on how to copy this text to the clipboard. Whatever text you have sent from your client from your phone, it will be directly copied to the clipboard and we can directly use it. Since both the servers are using self-signed certificates, we need to allow both the URLs in the browser. So for that, we'll add a link in the UI by clicking on that, it will open the second URL and we can accept that URL as well. making some changes this is how the UI is looking now I am using a slide component for which I'll add the link in the description please comment if you have any query or any suggestions for me I'll see you in the next project thank you